I'm Rihanna Teulen. I work as a nuclear energy campaigner for Greenpeace International in Amsterdam. I have a background in physical chemistry and I've worked on nuclear issues in, over the last eight years, which has brought me to many radioactively contaminated places around the world uh, where we do radioactive assessment of the dangers of, of the contamination. Um, and that has also br brought me to places where they do the uranium mining. The problems by firstly reducing our energy use, so be more efficient in the way we use energy, and secondly what, what energy we use, it should be produced in a sustainable manner. And sustainable meaning that we don't leave uh, waste for future generations, that we don't use up the earth, what is what we are basically doing with all other energy sources. So we should use those um, energy sources, what we call renewable energies, which is solar energy, wind energy, some forms of biomass, even though you have to be careful with that, water energy, there's all kinds of new technologies developed that will, if you combine them all, there's not one solution, but if you combine them all, they will bring us to a sustainable energy future. Our uh, objective in our, in our ultimate goal to come to a sustainable energy future, we really need to make choices. That means that we, we should change the, the way we are dealing with the energy production uh, problem curr currently. So we should really make some choices. We can only spend money once. Um, and if we spend it on the wrong choices, it will bring us in the wrong direction. For example, a lot of nu nuclear power plants and coal power plants will have to be replaced at some point. If money is spent, invested in those power plants currently, they will stay with us for the next 40 years, if not longer. That means that but money cannot be spent on the real clean solutions that will bring us to this sustainable future, which is solar energy and wind energy. And um, the, these technologies might not be mature enough to supply the huge demand that we currently have, so we should work on both ends. We should reduce the demand while we are expanding the renewable technologies and growing those technologies. And that's where we should put all our money.